So I was recently at the dentist and the hygienist happened to tell me a little story about how most hygienists become real estate agents part-time to help pay the bills and give them something to do on off days. So it got me thinking about what do I need to tell everyone about the difference between a part-time agent and a professional agent. So if you want to know a little bit about the difference, stay tuned to this week's episode. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us there for all Seattle real estate market updates, as well as general education about the real estate market. And so I was recently at the dentist and the hygienist got started telling me about how a lot of hygienists, if they're not working 40 hours a week, will become real estate agents for like Tuesdays and Thursdays, for example. Well, I wanted to give a little time dedicated to telling you a little bit about the difference between someone who works in real estate a couple days a week and someone who works full time in real estate or seven days a week like I do. So there are a few things that you should be aware of. Real estate can be a professional um, job and you can have professional realtors or it can very much be a part time job and that's because the barrier of entry to real estate is very very low so keep that in mind as you're interviewing agents who might help you buy and sell that said a part-time agent is typically someone who is looking to make money on the side and is trying to do real estate as a way to do that now there are a few things you should be aware of a part-time agent probably doesn't have as much experience because they're only doing it one to two days a week they probably don't know the market as well they're probably not interacting with clients every single day and they're probably just not selling as much because if you're only doing it a couple days a week then you're probably not going to be selling as much as if you're working five to seven days a week now contrast that with someone who is a professional real estate agent this is i hate to say it basically what i live and breathe Essentially, every single day, I am looking at homes, looking at new listings on the market, studying market data, negotiating a contract, uh, out with buyers or with sellers, talking about buying or selling their next property. So I get a lot more exposure to the market as a full-time professional realtor. Now that is a very different level of service than someone who is working part-time. I think there's this big conception that real estate agents can do whatever they want, make their own schedule. Well, that's not really the case. My schedule is defined by when my clients are available to me. And so basically almost seven days a week, I am typically working and studying the market and out seeing homes. So there are some major differences as you consider someone who might be a part-time realtor, maybe they're a family friend and a professional full service realtor. So keep that in mind as you're interviewing your next agent for whichever home you're planning to buy or sell. If you have more questions about what you think you should be asking an agent as you're interviewing them, don't hesitate to reach out. We have our top five questions to ask agents as you're interviewing, and I'm more than happy to share that with you. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this video and other videos like this about the real estate market or Seattle real estate specifically. We'd love to hear from you. Don't hesitate to reach out. You can call, text, direct message, or email us, and we'll always be available to chat with you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again next week.